CD-ROM Repair 101. First, you need to get inside. Step one, complete. Then you need to fix the headphone jack. All better. Then the volume jack. All better. Eject button not working? All better. Look, it's over here now. See, it's fixed. How the fuck did that get over there? It was in there. Came out over here. Sit over here with some parts we found. That's what it was. Unnecessary parts. Each CD-ROM drive really only needs two parts to work. A screwdriver and some plastic. But when you have too much plastic, that's a problem. So, we remove the tray for optimal plastic usage. Oh, I think something's loose. We need to find out what. We must get inside. Who needs one of these? Was that the loose part? No. no. <laughs> See, more plastic still. More plastic. So, get rid of that. Now the tricky part. Getting through the metal. This is this is the very trickiest part of all. See, it's trying to bend there. Oh, I think they made something else loose. <laughs> That wasn't connected. That could be a problem. <laughs> well, no, this side isn't connected, but this side is. That, that's definitely a problem. Look, a loose wire. There you go. There's your problem. Unfortunately, we're a little low on plastic at this point. Fluid movement to the gears. We can't have that now, can we? <laughs> Hold on, installing windows. Back to zero. Oh, you shouldn't be attached. That's <laughs> for the parts here so we can put this back together later. Every CD repair requires at least one Molson Canadian. Oh, now we have a part tray, you see? The best thing about CDs is when you get it open, you can just pile all the bits on the top that you can put off and stuff. Get that, okay? Nice and organized for later, so we put it back together. That looks like it's a... Use a little help. That was a good sound. That sound, boys and girls, is the sound something makes when it's ready to be detached. And here we have the loose parts. <laughs> this is why it didn't work. The volume knob, this headphone jack, the capacitor, some plastic. Well, that capacitor looks a little squished. <laughs> and we need a power plug for the ID device. We got a spare. Hmm. It's over there somewhere. And there's some run. There it is, right on the floor, right there. That that was a uh, see the audio connector. Oh, quick! Before we finish doing this any further, let's save the jumper. <laughs> this this piece is boring me now. There's more breakable stuff in this one. Or fixable stuff, I mean. Okay. 
there's a whole there's so many possible reasons why this thing didn't work. I can't narrow it down to one. Need another hole. There we go. So we've been in the yeah. It's getting a little warped there. Ooh, come on. Ow, 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 fucking shark. The iPod. I bet you this whole thing happened because there was a speck of dust on that. Or a speck of plastic. Capacitor, maybe. <laughs> There's a capacitor on the lens. I bet the hole from the little ribbon cable fell on top of the lens. And... That's it. The break. Perch. Perch. What if this has ABS on it? Now all we need to do is plug it back in. <laughs> Where do you put the CD? On this. Thank you. Here, check it out. See that? But in the end, really, makes a great coaster. And that concludes today's lesson.